Ooh, that's a speck. Yes, yes. That's a little bit. It's alright. Oh, he looks like he's in shed. Is he in shed? I mean, he's white. Normally, these snakes have yellow specks, and uh, his are literally kind of like a whitish blue coloration. What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're going to be out here looking for all kinds of different snakes. As you can see here, this is a small piney area and uh, all these pine trees are planted in rows so obviously this is a pine tree farm. And if you have a look at the bottom of these trees and how the grass is all charred and growing back, this area gets burned consistently. And uh, On a day like today, after an area like this has been burned, you'll get snakes sitting out or even coming to the edges of the pathway looking for food and that's what we're going to be looking for today. This area located in southern Mississippi is full of plenty of unique reptile species and since spring is in full swing they're going to be a bit more active especially in open burned areas just like this. Ooh, that's a speck. Yes, yes. That's all right. That's right. Oh, he looks like he's in shed. Is he in shed? I mean, he's white. The speck is white. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that speckle king. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Normally these snakes have yellow specks and uh, his are literally kind of like a whitish blue coloration. Now at first I thought he was in shed, but looking at his eyes, he's definitely not in shed. And now that I've got a good look at his skin, I can definitely say that this is actually a white speckled king. Goodness, that's a pretty uncommon thing to see when it comes to this species. Now speckled king snakes normally would range from a kind of a yellowish to a greenish speckling, but uh, this one has a whitish, kind of a grayish white coloration. Now this would actually be considered pretty rare. I've actually never found one like this, and uh, they're one in thousands, really, really. Now there's a super rare uh, variant of a white speckled king, which is called a white-walled speckled king snake. And what it is is, uh, they're not sure if it has to do with leucistic coloration or albinistic genetics being in the snake. They're not 100% sure because not too many of them have been found. But what it is is, white blotching all across the sides, and then on top, they would have speckling just like this snake has, but it would be white. That doesn't mean that this snake is albino by any means. Albino would be a complete lack of pigment, and it would be solid white with maybe a little bit of yellow with the speckling. But this snake, it's just a very, very uh, distinct coloration difference that you're going to get with this animal. Now, speckled king snakes are a snake that we've actually shown before, and uh, every single one that we've shown up until this point has been the normal coloration with the yellow speckling. And uh, this one would be small compared to many that we find. This one would be maybe two or three years old. This would be a young speckled king snake, and I believe that this is a little male. Now, he's a little cutie, very handsome guy, very healthy. He clearly didn't get burned at all when they were. Uh, doing a controlled burn of this because he doesn't have any markings on his scales or anything like that. Now king snakes are known for eating other snakes but they'll also eat mice and rats and there's a lot of snakes moving around today. He must told me when I picked him up he wasn't very happy he was rattling his tail but uh, king snakes normally have a pretty good disposition you can get some of them that are kinda mean but this guy's really really sweet once he figured out that I wasn't trying to hurt him once he realized that I wasn't biting him or grabbing him hard he relaxed and now you can see He's just crawling along, and he wants me to put him down. He wants just to get away from me at this point, but he's not being mean, he's not being aggressive, and he's being a very well-behaved snake. Look at that little guy. And he was just cruising along right here, out in the open. That's normally what you'll see with these guys. They'll either coil up on an edge, or be cruising around out in the open. You'll see, the, you'll see these guys on roads, you'll see them under things. King snakes can be found virtually anywhere, and they're pretty adaptable. They can live in neighborhoods, they can live in farmland, and they can even live you know, in very, very disturbed forests. So, for instance, this little area right here is pretty much straight tree farm. And uh, these guys are capable of living in here because of all the lizards and mice that get up in here to eat all the different grasses and bugs. So they're a very adaptable snake species. And uh, definitely our most common king snake species here in this part of the country. But uh, finding one like this is pretty uncommon. So it's pretty cool to show you guys one of these snakes. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let this little guy go. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, definitely leave a like. 
and I will see you guys next time. All right, let's go ahead and let this little guy go. It shouldn't burn this for a while, so we should be safe. Here you go, little buddy. There you go.